Hi, I'm Ben from APT. One of the most common accessories fitted to vehicles these days are rock sliders, and for good reason. Not only do they protect your sills and your lower extremities, they also protect your doors. The APT Discovery 2 slider design not only provides you with a step to get into your disco, but rock solid protection for your lower guards and your door sills. The fully encapsulated sleeve section spreads the loads across the sills and prevents sill separation. New premium quality fixings are supplied, so all you need are a couple of basic hand tools and you're on your way. So, what do you get? You get 4mm 350 grade replacement sill sleeves, 4mm 350 grade rock, rock rails which attach back to the sill sleeve in four points, and a laser cut 3mm 5005 aluminium plate with reverse dimples in the tread area for extra grip. You get new great 8.8 10mm bolts to go through the entire sill. The APT Discovery 2 rock sliders replace the factory sills, so we need to remove the plastic sills via the retainers. These are all the way down the sill. The tools for removal will be a flat blade screwdriver, a pair of side cutters and a 10mm socket. We'll start at the back and work our way forward. There's one little secret screw here that we take off with the flat blade to expose that thread. And now we've got to pop the clips all the way down towards the front. This is where I use the flatty and then the side covers. Once you've removed all the internal clips, there's one more sneaky little bolt down here that you need a 10mm socket for to get off. So we'll sneak under there. Whoops. Crashing. Take that out of the way. The sills are off. Now, with the factory sills out of the way, it's a good time to go along and give your sills a wipe down. The factory sills are a bit of a mud trap. If you're working by yourself, you're going to need some form of mechanical means to lift the sill into place. Today, I'm just going to use a jack. You'll notice a cutout on the rock rail side of the sliders. This is to be lined up with this door pillar. Position the slider in place with this capsule surrounding your sills. With the use of the jack or brute force, lift the sliders as high as they can be lifted. Try and line up the two holes closest to the door pillar first with the two holes in the sill. We've got four bolts to fit the sliders each side of the truck. So what we're going to do is now reach underneath the sills Find where your corresponding hole is, grab your 10mm drill, clearance those holes ready for the bolts to go through. Now we just put the drill through here, make these holes big enough for our 10mm bolts. And the back one. We now have the last one in the back. Now the front part, we get to crawl underneath and do the same on the inside. To get the bolts to go all the way through the sill, we need to drill the internal side of the sill ourselves. To do this, we'll use the existing holes in the sliders as a pilot, and we'll stick a 10mm drill bit through the four holes.
and lucky last. Now it's a good idea with freshly drilled holes because you've got the bare metal surface to give it a good squirt with lanolin. I've already done the inside, now I'm just going to go through the outside. Don't be shy, just wipe the excess off the outside so it don't get too messy. Do all the holes. So right about now we should have something that looks like this. The slider jacked into place and the four holes drilled ready for the installation of the bolts. Bolts go through from the outside with the nut and washer going in on the inside. We'll just do this all the way down first, starting the bolts. Now that all four bolts have been started through their relevant holes, I'm going to take the jack out of the way, give myself some space. So right about now, we should have something that looks a bit like this. The slider's in place, all four bolts have been started, and we've still got some open holes. These are important later on because the sill itself that's attached to the vehicle can fill with mud. So it's good to be able to get a hose or something in there and give that a good clean up from time to time. Now for the tightening sequence. It doesn't really matter which bolt you do first, but here's a handy little hint. We're going to use a 16mm spanner and a 17mm socket. As the socket goes around, it can rasp a bit of a ring into the paint. So we'll use that on the inside where no one sees it and we'll leave the spanner on the outside. Remember guys, these, these bolts through a sill, that's fully encapsulated. So you can swing off these without worrying about penetrating the actual factory sill. So do them nice and tight. Well folks, you've done it. Rock solid protection for your sills and your lower doors, done in your driveway at home. I'm Ben from APT. If you have any questions, give me a call or email me. I look forward to seeing you out in the tracks.